runs great, great vertical jump, uh, doesn't use his hands well, lacks toughness. This was the one guy. I really just don't like violence, but you know, sometimes, you know, they hit that switch. At left defensive end, left defensive tackle, nose tackle, right defensive tackle, right defensive end. Both run and pass. How long is the best defensive lineman in football? I could have him locked up tomorrow. He's borderline psycho. He's got some serious problems. I mean, you see Son of Sam when he said, bark, 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 the dog made me do it. I mean, this guy is right cut from the same mold. We have to do something about this guy or he may destroy what we're trying to do in the game.
Do you remember your first pit drill with the Raiders? Art Shell stepped up there, and here's Art Shell. I mean, I'm 20 years old, and I'm not shaving. And you know, Art <laughs> Shell's 36, 37 years old. He's got a beard. He's 330 pounds, and he's all man. The first time he came off the ball, he hit me here and cracked, cracked a little crack of my cheekbone here and slit me here with his helmet. And when Art came off the ball, he would also throw a double fist to your abdomen. So not only was I knocked out, I couldn't breathe. And I thought Art Shell had almost killed him. <laughs> Scared me there for a while. Might be the most dominant force in defensive football today. You know, you think about it like this. I played 13 years in the NFL. I went to eight Pro Bowls. I was on one of the two defensive ends on the all-decade team. And I never enjoyed my career. I had five sacks versus the Redskins in their heyday in one game. And on the ride back to California on the plane, all I could think about was the four run plays that I blew. It was not until I retired when I had sat down and said, you were pretty good. I said, look, go take some acting lessons. Because, you know, there's some times that we would go shopping, you know, just bumming around, you know, together. And we would go in a store and they would have women in behind the counters and they couldn't talk. <laughs> you could see little red streaks coming up their face, you know, you know, he's a handsome guy. Heck, when we moved to Los Angeles, we started calling him Howiewood. You knew it was a matter of time before he got down there. What about the first time you walked on a movie set? Was that in any way similar to the first time that you showed up at a, at a, at a Raiders practice? Did you feel intimidated? Uh, what am I doing here? Am I out of place? I had never been on a movie set, had never taken an acting lesson. And I said to my wife, I said, this is the biggest scam I've pulled off yet. I mean, it's just remarkable <laughs> that I'm here. I'm sitting in a career and with John Travolta in a car. Took down the damn chopper. That'll, that'll put a pretty little dent in the response time, huh? Deke, you the man. I'm the man. Professional football, if you make a career of it and you want to be one of the better people, uh, the sacrifice is incredible. He made the sacrifice. 
Now, he's reaping the rewards. I didn't ask to be in the movies. I didn't ask to be in the NFL. I didn't ask to go into broadcasting. Um, things just seemed to pop up for me. My life has been just a ride, and, and I don't necessarily know where it's going, but I'm, I'm enjoying the ride. In the 80 years of the National Football League, over 18,000 men have played this game. Many great players. Of those 18,000 plus players, 171 have ended up in this final glorious destination. Of those 171, only seven have been defensive ends.